2022 has been a challenging year for everyone. Fortunately, we've been able to overcome those challenges and it has been our best year ever. Really, Luis? The portal gun is not a toy. You could have walk. We started 2022 strong by announcing our new long-awaited columnar keyboard with built-in tenting, wireless, lots of thumb keys and spectacular RGBW. It had everything but a name. Someone at marketing forgot about this little detail and somehow he's still working here. Fortunately, we have you, our beloved digmates. We asked you for suggestions and you delivered. You came up with more than 750 names, some of them as cool as the Digma Aegis or the Digma Ionic, but we finally decided on the Digma Defy. We like the name because it sounds badass and it connects with our values as a company. This new keyboard defies the industry and its design conventions. The next few months were all about preparing the Kickstarter campaign for the Digma Defy. But who better to tell you than the guy that forgot to name the keyboard? Every single day. After hammering you with all kinds of videos and emails about the keyboard, sorry, we launch on June 1st. And we can only say one thing, thank you. You exceeded all our expectations. The project was funded in the first minutes and we reached over a thousand backers in our first hour. In the end, almost 4,400 of you backed the Digma Defy. And if you consider the post campaign sales, we surpassed by far the 1 million mark. Plus, we got to keep all the cool stuff we used to record the Kickstarter video, where we travel in time to bring you the keyboard from the future. By the way, some footage didn't make the final video, so if you want to see the director's cut and the outtakes where Temin Abel dances and speaks in a British accent, you'll have to make some noise in the comments below. However, releasing a keyboard is not all fun and games, at least for the product team. Right, Manel? Designing the Defy wasn't easy. The comfort, the aesthetics, the functionality, everything has to meet our highly insane standards. But nothing compares to how manufacturing is. We have been through thick and thin perfecting the samples with the suppliers, dealing with the certification lab, and figuring the firmware for such a complex keyboard while navigating the world chip shortage. It's been like an emotional roller coaster, but luckily we are through the worst part. The Digma Defy has passed the certification and we are ready for mass production. However, I encourage you to check all our manufacturing updates, link it below. It's a fun read. <laughs> With the Defy announcement, we thought sales of our first keyboard, the Ligma Race, would be stale for some time. That way, we would have time to develop the Race V2. And boy, were we wrong. You kept buying the race at such a pace that we ran out of stock before summer. Selling more is always great, but it meant that we needed to start manufacturing a new batch, something our lead product designer, Manel, wanted to avoid. This new batch included minor but interesting improvements, like a new sound damping solution, new colors, a new travel case, factory loop stabilizers, and new ABAC caps for non-English languages. Check out this other video if you want to know all that's new in the Digma Race 1.4. Another thing that you kept on buying was the Digma Race Tenting Kit. Thanks to our surveys, we knew that you loved it. But even with that in mind, you surpassed our estimations and we ran out of stock too. Now we are happily back in stock, but it hasn't been as easy as we thought. <laughs> to deal with this increasing workload, we sped up our hiring. Juan, our new firmware engineer, joined the team in spring to assist Alex, our full stack developer, and Stefan, our senior electronic engineer. By fall, we had also hired Gustavo, another firmware engineer, and Javier, an electronic engineer. That's how complex the DeFi is. If you think of it, it's like three keyboards in one. Wired, Bluetooth and RF. But not only the engineering team grew. Pedro came in June to join our customer delight department and he's been answering all your emails and questions ever since. During the summer, we also incorporated David. He's the guy always behind the camera. And Fernando, who's responsible for how nice our thumbnails and social media posts look nowadays. Chris is also back from a year-long leave. You might recognize him from all their videos. But don't worry, Dominique is not going anywhere. She's just taking some well-deserved holidays. Finally, the last ones to join the team were Yuri and myself. 
As head of people, I will help grow the team even farther while Yuri is in charge of designing our new mystery device. If you don't want to miss anything about it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hey, I feel like a YouTuber! Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Another thing we've been working on is improving our website. It has a new look that's more in line with our brand, an intuitive navigation menu, and most importantly, it's now easier than ever to configure your keyboard with more customization options than ever before. Now you can choose from six different colors and mix and match the keyboard's face with black or white keycaps and palm pads, something you have asked us for years. On top of that, we have launched the new Digma refurbished shop where you can enjoy the Digma experience for less. Every Digma certified refurbished is thoroughly inspected, tested and repackaged to ensure you enjoy the unmatched experience of unboxing the newly forged Digma keyboard. If you want to save some money, go check them out on the link below. And remember, they come with all the goodies and have the same two year warranty. Hey, that's almost the same amount of time it took to develop Baseball 1.0, right Alex? Don't run Alex! Alex! Alex is nowhere to be found, so I'll explain this. After more than a year in development and innumerable beta versions, we finally released Basecore 1.0.0, a complete overhaul of the configurator software of Digma keyboards. We had to threaten a developer with changing his OS to Windows Vista, but it was worth it. Basecore 1.0.0 has a revamped UX and UI that's better looking and more intuitive to use, a new macro editor with timeline and record functions, a much more robust and self-explanatory firmware update process, and much more cool stuff like super keys and automatic backups. I recommend watching this video to learn everything new on Basecore 1.0.0. Of course, this is just another step along the way. With the Digma Defy on its way, our software will keep growing and improving. That's if we're able to find Alex. Finally, you may have noticed that we have new backgrounds in our videos. That's because we have a new studio with fancy equipment and much more space to goof around. We hope you enjoyed this recap as much as we've enjoyed this year. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss everything that's coming up. Besides shipping the awaited Digmatify, we have much more in store. We'll announce the mystery device that we've been working on. We'll keep improving the base score to make it flawless. And we also have plans to develop the Race V2 with many, many features. And of course, we will continue to grow and make awesome videos. See you next year! Uy, mira que la he cogido! <laughs> Juan, our. F bl 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 explanatory, explan explanatory. No, explanatory. Explanatory? <laughs> 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 Habría que cargarla. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh!